Today on Mead Mythbusters, we are testing if bananas truly add body to meads and wines. So let's get started. So if you've been in the fermenting world, you might have heard a rumor or a myth that bananas add body to meads. And um, some people have tried fermenting with bananas and lots of times they don't really add a lot of flavor. But from what I hear and from what I understand, they add body. And we're gonna put that to the test today. Very simple. I have two gallons of mead here and these are previously finished. They're in their aging stage right now, currently. So this is from a test I did where I heated one honey and I didn't heat the other and I did an A-B test to see if there was a fermentation or if there was a taste difference between heated honey and not heated honey. Without spoiling that video, um, there's not, these two meads taste virtually the exact same. So uh, they're the same recipe, same original gravity, same final gravity, um, just essentially the same mead. And we're gonna put a banana in one of them and then leave the other one to be our control test. So here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to take, and I'm gonna put a whole banana, this whole banana into this mead right here. It's gonna be a little bit of a pain to get out in the racking process, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna let it sit in there for, I'm gonna say two weeks, and then we're gonna do a taste test, A-B taste test to see, a blind taste test to see if there is a difference, if there's body. So, simple, let me just take care of this. All right, will this inevitably add some flavor, banana flavor to this mead? Probably, but that's okay. Uh, while our A-B test might not be super accurate in saying that, oh, this one's not the banana mead, we can still find out if they add body and mouthfeel. And I'm very curious about this. So let me let this set for two weeks and then we'll rack it off. I won't taste test it at that point because I wanna do it, make sure that when I'm part of the taste test, I'm tasting it for the first time. So here is two weeks later. All right, it's been two weeks. The banana has sat in here and maybe imparted some body and some flavor. Let me give you a kind of a close up of what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. You can see there's a little bit of degassing from the yeast, of course, being somewhat active. Uh, probably, it could have probably picked up some sugars. Um, you know, anyways, that's what it looks like. Looks like an old banana. So uh, we'll see if it added any body to this thing. So here's what I need to do now. I'm gonna rack it over and I'm not gonna do the taste test alone. I'm gonna invite a friend. So let me rack this off of the banana real fast. All right, so this is currently racked over once. I'm gonna have to rack it over again because there's still a little bit of floating banana in it, which is typical. So I'll rack it over again in the future before I do the taste test. So um, now we're gonna sit for a, a couple of days to weeks, uh, depending on how long it takes to get my friend over here. Um, and then we'll see if bananas add body. So here is that. All right, here we are with the taste test. I have BC from Doing the Most, who um, is here kind of full circle with this mm -hmm. mead because these are the original, um, uh, an original video we had done before with mm -hmm. the heated honey versus not heated honey. I explained earlier, he was part of that taste test. Yeah. So you're familiar with these. Yeah. So you know. I've tasted both of them. And which will be interesting to see what you think about yeah. them now that they've aged for a little bit. So on this side, of course, I have the regular nothing special version. On this side is the banana body Mm -hmm. experiment and it's clear why we couldn't do a blind taste test on this <laughs> yes which i planned to do that but then i was uh, today i was like oh, okay that that's not gonna work because yeah. the clarities are vastly different i think we think that's because possible tannic mm -hmm. and you know something with banana yeah that's my only explanation i can think of because they were literally the same before yeah it's wild how different they they look yeah. So we'll see. Let's see what the taste difference is now. We're going to okay. do an aroma check on them first. So let's just A, B, and then kind of decide. You want, we'll start with, we'll start with yeah. the, the control. The control, yes. Okay. Nothing. It smells just like a traditional, normal mead to mm -hmm. me. I mean, it's, it's the, the nose on it is dry. Yeah. Slightly boozy. I do get a bright floral note from this one. Fro floral, fruity, aroma. 
Now we did pour these a few minutes ago, so they have had some time to breathe. Yeah. So that could trying be... to keep from pouring it up my nose here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yeah. do get a little bit of that the yeasty, yeasty like aroma slightly, yeah. even though there's... it's you know it's had some time to age. So there's a yeah there's a toasty bready note kind of in there. It's not it's faint though. It's not like it's not like you're coming down off a of primary or something. Yeah. Like it's it's subtle. And that's just the type of thing that ages out. It does smell like orange blossom honey, which I'm very confident that I did not use orange <laughs> blossom honey. But maybe that's just my brain. Yeah. Me. It, it smells like a dry traditional. Uh, for the age on it, there's nothing really of note there. It's, yeah. It's, it's a dry meat. Let's, let's uh, get aroma on the banana. Very different. Mm-hmm. I don't get that same yeastiness. No. And... It, Ooh, I do get that same the booziness though. There's this. Yeah. There's more boozy. All right, a boozy. Let me clear out my nostrils yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. So, we need the smell chug, salts or whatever chug, they are. Pull me, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It does have the same aroma to me, like the deep down base if, aroma. If you pull it in hard, yeah. So it fills your sinuses. There is some of the same booziness that's in here, but I'm picking up just a delicate, like artificial banana kind of aroma here. Hmm. I it's like that. a like a banana runts type situation, like a like a banana mm -hmm. flavored candy. Yeah, like one of those like edible necklaces you would get when you're like <laughs> six. Uh, That'd be but fun it's. Mead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you did the you did the peppermint. Might as well right? just, <laughs> just go all in. Strings and all. The whole, the whole candy <laughs> store. <laughs> yeah, no, it's the banana is subtle, but it's it's definitely it's a little brighter. I'm to picking me. it up. Yeah. I do get the brightness. I don't get specifically banana, but I get bright. Yeah. Brightness. Yeah, it is. It does feel. That's an interesting. That's an interesting way of saying it. It it has a brightness that this one doesn't have, and this one almost has like a. It's uh. It's like depressed. It's like, <laughs> you know. What I mean? But it's like it's. Yeah. It's kind of down here, whereas this one is is elevated a little mm -hmm. bit, and they they kind of feel like different sides of the coin. Yeah. Almost. And it's interesting that just like chucking a banana in there would do that. To the I do nose. wonder if uh, if banana has added way more than just possible body. But <laughs> let's see if it's added body first, and then we'll discuss okay. the other. So we'll side. start with the control. Let's start with control. All right. I would definitely get the yeastiness. Get the, some burn. Mm hmm. Got some heat. Yeah, there's a there's. Yeah, there's heat on the back, and then there's there's a tannin that kind of rides around the tongue. The nice astringency though, it's it's it tells you what it is. It says I, I, I'm mead. I do like the mouthfeel on it. I think that mm -hmm. it's it, it is. I like the mouthfeel aside from that the yeasty flavor that I, I just am picking out for some reason. Maybe it's because I've had really young meads recently. Yeah, and I'm picking that up a lot. But yeah, but again, that's that is a flavor that always ages out. Yeah, given enough that's time. true. And so that's actually a relatively pleasant mead compared to two weeks ago when I came and tried this. A lot of that youthful vigor that I had described <laughs> has, has fallen off, and yeah. the mead profile has, has come in to replace it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's nice. Yeah. I think in a month or so, this is going to be really nice. Let's do the other side. Banana. Uh, well, I, don't disappoint me. This should taste like banana. That's what I'm hoping for. It tastes like banana runs. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Much smoother. It's got a rounder profile. And I know, like almost every time I'm over here doing a tasting, I say something like this, but like this one is kind of jaggedy and razory, and kind of kind of works its way back, whereas yeah. this one's round and smooth and soft and works its way across. Yeah, I don't get as <laughs> no, I follow you. I don't. I'm I'm uh, Do <laughs> thinking about. Uh, yeah, I I believe what you're saying. You're like sure, buddy. It is. <laughs> it is round. It is. It's the. I'm, I was in my head going. Okay, it tastes smooth. The flavors are more melded. Um, it does have the heat, but it, I was trying to find the body, really compare the bodies. And I don't think, I mean, I think there's a slight difference, mm -hmm. but it's not as, I, I think when a lot of people say this adds body that they they think of like a vastly different. Yeah, no, they're not, they're not markedly different. There is, it's just the experience of drinking them is different. Yeah. But I think when people think body, they think, thickness mm -hmm. like you know when you add like maltodextrin to a beer yeah that thickness that kind of coats your mouth it's not that kind of body it's just a mm -hmm. change in 
how you perceive almost like the texture of the mead mm -hmm. as you're drinking it. It's kind. Of, it's really interesting. The dichotomy between the two is really interesting. For only throwing a banana in, I do think that the banana it doesn't taste like banana. It doesn't at all. I mean, that's. I don't think that it. <laughs> if I wanted to get a banana meat, I'd probably have to chunk four times as much or more yeah. uh, to get that flavor. But I do feel like it. It is pronounced. For whatever reason, it has melded out some characters, making us making it have a better roundness. But also, mm -hmm. I think it's pronounced. Um, to me, more fruity notes, like mm -hmm. more, uh, it's taken away brightness of the fruity notes, but it's made like the aftertaste of an apple to me. Yeah. I, that seems like such a weird thing to say, and it is. But. Yeah, I don't know that I pick up on apple, but I pick up on what you're saying. Well, I'm that sorry, like... that was not a great example. Not doesn't taste like apple, but what I'm saying is like the, the initial bite of like a fruit. Imagine the initial, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you let it sit in your mouth for two seconds, and that the flavor. That like juiciness. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't have as, as much of a juiciness. Interesting. Yeah. I, can, I, can, I can sense that. Yeah, that it's... When you say fruitiness, I feel like... I always think of like a flavor that kind of takes over the honey uh -huh. and becomes the forward thing. And it's not that. It's a fruitiness that complements the honey mm -hmm. character. Almost like a... You know how you back sweeten to, to bolster the honey profile in a mead? It almost has kind of accomplished that. Yeah. Where... You, it's a fruitiness, but it's it's honey forward. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. I might start putting bananas and everything. I don't think it added. I don't think I would use this as a body element. I would not stick bananas into my mead to say I'm going to add it for body. Now, for other roundness or some uh, mellowing, it seems mm -hmm. like it mellowed it out a little bit more. Yep. It cleared it right up. And it cleared it up for some reason. <laughs> if someone can explain that in the comments, let me know. But. Um, I don't think I would use it as an element for body. Would you use it as a... No. I, well, it goes back to what you were just saying. I, I, I could see using it for very specific mouthfeel purposes, but I also, as as the type of brewer I am who has just stacks of supplies, yeah. I, I feel like I have other ingredients or amendments that I could use to accomplish the same thing without dealing with a banana. And the, there is the <laughs> flip side of, what if I had thrown in three bananas? Could mm -hmm. there have been a chance that, yes, the more bananas you add, the bigger the body is? Absolutely. Um, I just... Or banana peels. Or banana peels. But I truly believe that, like, it's also adding more sediment over time. The mm -hmm. more you add that is not a powder or that is an actual fruit or an actual something else, adds sediment. So you're just kind of running the risk of losing more. Yeah. I, I wouldn't use it... Um, all the time, it could be a very niche, yeah, mouthfeel element. <laughs> Maybe if you want to go for banana meat, throw some bananas in. But to me, now you might be watching this going, I don't want to use maltodextrin. I don't want to use an, a um, white powder or something that is not organic, which is fine. Yep. You brew how you want. Um, if you want to try bananas, I would suggest just using more. Yeah, yeah. I mean it. It accomplished something. Yeah. And it was a something that was preferable to nothing. Yes. And so, yeah, I I could see that. You know, I when you look at some of the old country fruit wine making recipes, they will include bananas and sometimes mm -hmm. banana peels for body or for that wholeness that they provide. And so somewhere, somebody believed that this was a valuable exercise. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm with you. If, if you, particularly in some countries, they just don't have access to a lot of these brewing ingredients. Yep. So if you do have access to bananas, which grow almost everywhere, yeah, um, except in Canada. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, I think it's a worthwhile endeavor. I, uh, in that other side, like you're saying, the peels, we, um, the peels could add body to this, to a meat, you know, and I, maybe one day I'll get around to doing that test, but for now, I'm, I'm saying that the banana meat, at least, or fruit part, is not adding body to a mead. Is that the ultimate truth? This is an opinion, so, I mean, as much as I would love to say that I could have the perfect palate to yeah. taste these things, um, no, but... You know, I think that we're developing opinions. You can go and try this on your own and let us know what you think. If you want to try banana peels, try that too. But that's the results. Yeah. That's the opinions, at least. 
It it I it made for a better drink. Yes. But I don't know that it did necessarily what the claim was. Yeah. So that's been um, do bananas add body. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, adventure and. Um, it's been fun. Thank you, BC, for coming on. If Thank you. you. I'm so glad that you do all these things <laughs> so the rest of us don't have to. <laughs> oh, well, you know. I really if, appreciate it. If you want, if you want to go check out BC and his and uh, his mead world as well, he's got a lot of great content and um, he does a lot of uh, fantastic uh, mead recipes that I've personally tried. So I would r highly recommend to go check out his channel and try to recreate one of his because he does a lot of great stuff. So thank you. Um, go check him out. I'll put a link in the description. I hope you guys uh, have a great night or day or whatever. I'm out With of that, that. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>